Hey man, you're too short to play college ball. Ever had that feeling? Today we'll talk about four ways you can overcome your height in college football recruiting. Chad Wilson here with you again with more recruiting tips that you can use to get those offers. Before we jump into today's topic, let's take care of a little bit of business. If you're new here to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified the next time I put out a recruiting video. Also, if you enjoy this video, and I'm sure you will, go ahead and give it a like and be sure to share it with your friends who could use this advice as well. Well, we all have our deficiencies in life. Even the best of players in any sport lack something, whether it was speed or size or whatever the case may be. You're not alone in the feeling that you have. However, what separates the great ones from the not so great ones are how they handle those deficiencies that they do have. So today we'll talk about something that is completely out of your control and that is your height. Many times the recruits take to Twitter and other social media outlets expressing their anger and the feeling that they're being cheated because they were left out and they feel it's because of their height. And what I found out over the years, lack of height is a problem for many in the recruiting world. However, there is a solution to it. And today, we're gonna to talk about what those four things are. The number one thing you need to do right now is stop complaining. Going on Twitter and other social media outlets complaining about how the colleges are hating on you and the recruiters are just not paying attention to you because you're not tall enough is not going to help your situation. A recruiter that's been sent out to get six foot four defensive ends is not gonna suddenly start taking more of a look and interest in you because you're six foot one and you've been complaining and you've got 150 tweets out there talking about how guys are hating on you. The energy you spend complaining is better off spent in trying to find other avenues or putting in some hard work to be stronger in other areas that don't include height. But being running around complaining about it is just not the way to go. It sets a negative mindset for you, it gives you a bunch of negative energy, and it just doesn't move you in the right direction. Again, your height is not something you can control. So what you can do is put a lot of positive energy in the other aspects of the game that you are very strong in. Obviously you're talented and you had some production in high school, otherwise we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So you've gotta ask yourself, why were you successful in high school? Why are you currently a good football player? And you need to pour your energy into those things that make you that. And if you do have a weakness that is not related to your height, go ahead and start working on those weaknesses too. But nowhere in there is your improvement gonna come from you complaining on social media. The second thing you need to do is stop listening to the outsiders. I bet you think that's the people that are saying you won't make it because you're too short. No, there are people out there that are even more dangerous than that. Those are the people that are supporting your complaining about you not having the proper amount of height and that the colleges are hating on you. Let's just be honest about this. College recruiters have a big job and that is taking a high school athlete and trying to project how he will do at the next level. You gotta trust that they know more about how that's gonna work than your mother does, than your high school football coach, than your little league coach, your mentor, or anyone else that's trying to be your deputy complainer. Listening to those people over and over is gonna drain your energy and put a lot of negativity into your head. You're just gonna have to mute those people out. The truth of the matter is, while they're doing that and you're listening to it, they're forgetting the fact that you might be deficient in some other areas that you're able to improve in. So anyone that's sitting there telling you that, hey, they're just not recruiting you because you're not tall, are really not helping you because you're not gonna get taller overnight. You're gonna have to start tuning those people out and if possible, ask them to not get on that train. You've gotta now make yourself a prospect and do that by improving yourself in the areas that you're weak and once again, really, really improving yourself in those areas where you're strong. You're going to have to become elite in those other areas. But listening to those outsiders, they keep putting it in your head that they're just hating on you. I'm telling you, they're draining a lot of energy from you and causing you to stay in that negative mindset that's going to make you less attractive than other short guys who may get an opportunity. Number three, be exceptional at one or more other things. Now I've touched on that a little bit, but let's dig into that. If you're a running back and you're five foot eight, obviously that's not the ideal height that the coaches are out there looking for. But 
if you can go out there and run track and you can have 10 4 speed or you can be extremely strong you have a 400 500 pound squat and you seem like you're very hard to bring down that's going to attract the eyes of college recruiters and in most cases it'll help them overlook the fact that you lack height so what you lack in height you're more than making up for in speed what you lack in height you're more than making up for in strength or having really really great hands out of the backfield you cannot be like everyone else who's 5'10 or 5'11 or 6 feet at the running back position. Look at what those guys are good at and be much more better than them in those things that they happen to do well. You control that. You control your ability to catch the ball out of the backfield. You control your ability to have more and more speed by running track and doing the training that is necessary. And you control your strength. Get in there, lift weights, follow the weight program, get stronger, get bigger, be a lead in those things that have nothing to do with your height. It's the only way you're gonna get them to overlook the fact that you may lack the potential height or the prerequisite height that they need to go out and recruit. So a college recruiter that's been sent out to find five foot 11 running backs runs into you, and yeah, you don't fit the number that they've sent them out there with, but you've got really, really great speed. He can see you out on the track, winning track meets, running great times, or he sees you in the weight room piling plates on there and you're very, very strong and he cuts the film on and guys aren't able to bring you down, now he can project you at the next level being a guy that can break tackles or run away from the defense and allow the team to gain yards, score points, and be a success. Finally, number four is be prepared to take a different route. Hey, if you've busted your rear end and you've done all those first three things I've talked about and you've done it to the max, you've done everything you can do, you've lifted those weights, you've run, you've upped your football IQ, you've worked on your hands, you've done it all and you're still not getting attention from the Division I schools, from the FBS schools, from the Power 5 schools, then it's time for you to take a different route. Start thinking about going to FCS. Start thinking about doing Division II or Division III even. Many a guy in the NFL got there through the Division II or Division III or FCS route. Because you went to those schools doesn't mean you don't have a chance to reach your ultimate goal if that is playing in the NFL. Besides that, if you just want a great college football experience, you can get that at many of these other schools. You don't have to go to Clemson or Alabama or Ohio State to get that great big time college football experience. You can have a great time at one of these other schools, but if those schools aren't recruiting you, what can you do about it? Go take this other route, work your rear end off, show them, finally, show the guys at the uppermost level, the NFL, where they will find you anywhere, show them that you can play ball. Listen, if I handed you a 1989 Chevy and I'm trying to tell you it's good as new, you're gonna wanna see the Carfax, right? Sometimes you got to show the car facts, okay? And that means you having to go to another school that's not in the limelight, that's not playing on ABC and ESPN every week, and you're going to have to prove that you can get it done at that level, all right? If you want to use it as motivation that other guys you played with and against are at those schools and you're better than them, then go crazy at that FCS school or Division II school or Division III school. Don't go there and pout about the fact that you weren't recruited by these other schools. Again, it's negative energy that's not gonna help you move forward. Go there with a the positive mindset that you are gonna do everything that you can to bring this team a championship, rewrite the record books, and be noticed by the guys at the top. If you do all those things, there's a really good chance that you'll have your day. And you know what? You may outshine or get a better opportunity or last longer in the NFL than those guys that went to the big time schools. So that's the attitude that you have to take. Sometimes your path to your success is not a straight one. You got to go around left or right. You got to take a winding road to your path to success. And that means you're going to have to go to a smaller school. Not only go to a smaller school though, you're going to have to have a really good attitude about being at that small school. The stands may not always be packed. The game day crew won't be there and it won't be touted on all of the social media and it won't be a big time game like that. You're just going to have to, in your mind, create that scenario. I don't want to use the word trick, but use your imagination and realize that what you do out on that field is going to be seen by somebody, especially if you're doing it well. And there you have it. Follow those four steps and you've given yourself the best chance possible to reach your ultimate goal. 
Complaining about it is not going to do anything for you. And even look at this, if you fall short of your D1 dreams or your NFL dreams, at least you pursued it hard and you've learned a lot along the way and it'd be something that you can use to help others. Perhaps you can write a book one day, but whatever the case may be, get rid of the negative energy, be positive about things, work on your weaknesses, improve your strengths, and there's a lesson that's gonna be learned that you could carry on not only from the football field, but on to the rest of your life that's gonna exist out of the game of football. So for now, save those slept on tweets and start putting your energy into being really awesome at the other gifts that God has blessed you with that has nothing to do with how tall you are. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, give it a like, give it a share, and be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Appreciate all you guys coming here. Good iron studs. Wait, matter of fact, if you're a baller and you're watching this and you have not yet signed up or downloaded the Gridiron Studs app, that's one thing you could do right now to help yourself in the game of recruiting. So check out the link in the description, click on it, download the Gridiron Studs app, create a profile, boost your recruiting. I've got colleges from all over using it to find prospects just like you all over the app. They're using the filters and they're finding guys left and right. So do that right now, click on the link, download it, create a profile, get yourself seen. All right, until next time guys, Gridiron Studs, be seen.